Unpopular opinions time. The coronation of the king is in two weeks. Now, I've never been a royalist. Until recently, I've become one. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but other people won't know why. So I'm going to try and put some meat on the bones of that. As far as I'm concerned, our Western culture is under direct attack from someone. I won't go into it. I know who it is, but that's a different video. We're under attack is the main thing. Us. We. Western culture, primarily for me England, English culture, is under attack. And I think we need a cultural avatar. Someone with power, wealth, money, status and a voice and a platform. Who can carry our cultural values and our traditions and refresh them going forward. That's what we need. And we've got this coronation in two weeks, so I thought, this will be interesting, won't it? Because his official title is Defender of the Faith, Rightful King of England, Scotland, Wales, and the Northern Isles and surrounding islands. That's his title. So if he is Christian, and if he has deep faiths, like say if he had the same level or more than I have, if, I, if someone said to me, you're the rightful king of these isles and the defender of the faith, you can even see my face change as I say that, as that thought goes through my head. Something happens inside me and my eyes lit up a little bit there. And I thought, wow, that's a position, isn't it? And that's the fear for people who aren't royalists, I think. They look at that position of power with reverence, but also fear, and they think we better destroy that. That could really radically in, you know, incentivize people against us or our culture. It could. It could affect people who are something to do with our culture. They might look over and think, well, that's cool. We'll do that instead. And it might erode our culture. That's the only reason they want to get rid of it. But we've seen, look what's happened. When you look out your window, the erosion of our traditions and our culture has not gone well for anyone. Everyone's miserable, poorer. There's way more problems. There's tons more crime. Our population, uh, our, uh, what's it called? The general population's reputation across the world, our global, uh, other people's worldview of us has plummeted through no fault of our, well no, it is our own fault, fuck no, it is our own fault, it's every single person's responsibility who lives here, calls themselves English, Eng English or Scottish or wherever they live ish, that thing, that nationality, it's our fault as well, every single person, child, woman, man, dog, it doesn't matter. It depends where your loyalties are. If you're loyal to this country and the people that live in this country, not the government, the governments come and go. If you're loyal to the idea that this people have a government of their own that has autonomy, led by the royal family as the defender of the faith of Christianity, that's the thing that this country has always had. That's the reason this country was always good, why people wanted to come here. You know, I'm sat here with my cup of tea. It's not an accident that I live this way, that I have these views, that I'm educated in this way. It's a direct result of life in England, being English. Even though my parents were immigrants. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. I am now a royalist. I hope you will consider becoming a royalist if you're English or you live in this country. Or even if you've moved here and you call yourself British currently. If this awakens something inside you and you think, I identify with that polite, intelligent culture, democratic culture, but with a strong foundation of tradition, a religious tradition, of morality, with God as our witness and our guide, if that sounds like you, it doesn't have to be the Christian God. If you're a Muslim and that, if you identify with that, cool. We have a Muslim, um, I don't know what to call it, like a Muslim segment of society who's absolutely got every right and equal rights with me as a white Christian to be a whatever colour, or even white, I suppose, Muslim. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, but King Charles is going to have to make decisions about this because we do have a Muslim court within England, and they're English by right and by tradition and by everything else, the same as him being the king and me being me. So uh, it's going to be a big thing in a few weeks' time, so we'll probably make more videos about it then. So hope you enjoyed that. God save the king. Yes, I never thought I'd say that. Wow, what strange times we live in. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.